So today we're gonna to learn a little bit more about a pair of shoes in the Wandering Wardrobes collection. These are very special sneakers that probably look unlike most of the shoes that we have in our own closets. These shoes are designed by Jeremy Scott, who's an American fashion designer who grew up in Missouri. And he made these in collaboration with Adidas. And you can see Adidas on one side here. And then you can see Jeremy Scott on the other side right here. Um, so kind of just like an artist signing an artwork, Jeremy Scott has signed these shoes, which kind of helps us remember that sometimes though we wear clothing and it's really utilitarian, it has a purpose and a function in our lives, that sometimes clothing can really be considered a work of art. I think it's important to think about how these shoes are kind of like a pair of wearable sculptures. So if we look at these, you can see there, there are a lot of three-dimensional elements. So you can see that they have a height and a length and a depth to them, three-dimensional. And we can especially see that in the tongues of these shoes. So you can see that this is functional too. There's a place where you can put your foot in and that this tongue really helps secure this to the wearer's foot and ankle. Um, but you can also see that this is then made into a sculpture. Um, we have a poodle here that's wearing glasses. It even has little um, ears that can flap around. Another part of the shoe that's functional are the laces, which help um, make this tight around the wearer's foot. But you can see that there are these big chunky plastic pieces that can kind of clank against each other while someone is walking. You can see that these are big bones. So the designer in picking the materials for this has really thought about a soft stuffed animal or how soft a dog can be, and then how hard and shiny bones can be, really thinking about materials that can be made into wearable fashion pieces that kind of reflect um, you know, other things that are in our lives. Um, it's exciting to look at this in the round so you can see all sides and even see that there's a little tail on the back. Um, in designing this piece, the designer wanted this to be very graphically bold, so the designer chose to use a really limited color palette or a li limited number of colors that are all really closely related to each other. Um, if we look at the colors in this piece, you can see a brighter pink, a lighter pink, and then another coordinated pink down at the bottom of the sole. Um, this monochromatic color scheme, monochromatic meaning mono, which is one color, um, really helps us focus on some of the design details. Um, it helps us really focus on the parts that are white because they're different from the pink. It helps us focus on the details of the dog's face because then you can see that black really pop out. Um, so really, if we think about creating a sculpture, thinking about materials and shape um, and the cultural references that we're making, Jeremy Scott has really made us a sculpture for someone's foot. Let's see, so we have Adidas here, um, which is the brand of the shoemaker. And then if we flip these around, you can see that we have Jeremy Scott, which is the name of the artist. Um, so the fashion designer here has signed his work of art. Um, often when fashion designers create things, they put labels in the backs of clothes. Um, so if you think about if you're wearing a t-shirt that on the back, sometimes you'll see the name of the, the designer or you might see a size. But here Jeremy Scott has wanted to make sure that everyone knows he had a hand in making this happen. So he put his signature on the outside. You can see lots of details these shiny plastic bones, um, all secured to the laces. Um, so you can see that they almost slide on like beads. Big and clunky though. Big and chunky and graphically bold. Then lots of different materials, all in related colors with a monochromatic color palette. So we have this light pink, and then a darker pink with even more texture, kind of mimicking poodle fur. Um, and then here we have a rubber sole. It's really important that when designers make things that are functional, that they also choose materials that can help the wearer. Um, so having a rubber sole on the bottom means that your shoe can grip the ground, whereas having the softer material on the top means that it can kind of mold and shape to the wearer's foot. So the tongue is a poodle head, you can see that this is functional, so you'd slide your foot in there, and then this would lay flat against the wearer's ankle, um, and you can see that this is three-dimensional. So most tongues are pretty flat in shoes, but this has a definite shape, um, almost like a stuffed animal attached to the front of a shoe. Um, so we have a head and these fun sunglasses. We have the bones in the front. And then on the back, we have a tail, which is something I've never seen on a pair of shoes. 
Something that's exciting about interacting with wandering wardrobe pieces is thinking about the different life that these shoes lead um, than most of the shoes that we have in our own wardrobes. So we initially purchased these special for this collection so that it could go into classrooms just like yours. When we ordered these shoes, they came in an Adidas box, just like you might see at a, a store if you go shoe shopping today. But because these are really special shoes, we handle them in a different way. So once these have entered our collection, um, they instead go on this really special archival quality um, holding space. Um, so this is made out of corrugated plastic and is made out of a material that if these shoes stay on here for years and years and years, they'll still be safe. Um, whereas sometimes these boxes that you get at the store, um, because we don't keep our shoes in them for that long, it's not a big deal at our homes. But if we were to have that in our collection, it might damage the pieces that we're trying to take care of. So if we look at these shoes, we might try to think of some words that come to mind immediately when we look at them. So for me, those words might be fun, silly, kind of goofy. Um, I think we often think about high fashion as being kind of stuffy or something that doesn't relate to our everyday lives. But Jeremy Scott is really interested as a fashion designer in making things that relate to our everyday lives and popular culture. So clearly with these shoes, you can imagine that he's making reference to dogs and stuffed animals, things that we see in our everyday Day lives. He extends this to his entire fashion practice. So some other inspirations he's had for his clothing lines have been um, Thunderbird cars from the 1950s um, or popular brands that he changes the words but uses the same font or the same style of writing and then adds his own name. Um, some of the funniest collections I've seen he's made have been inspired by fast food restaurants and junk food brands um, where he's even made a purse that looks like a bag of potato chips that someone's finished eating. So if you think about inspirations for your own artistic practice, you might think about things that are in your everyday life that you see all the time, and maybe look at them in a new way and use those for artistic inspiration. We can really spark our creativity and imagination trying to think through the life that a pair of shoes like this might lead. So when these entered our collection, we purchased them special for the Wandering Wardrobe project. And then they came into our archival space. And as part of our rules, they'll never be on a, a person's feet just to make sure that they'll be kept safe so that students like you can appreciate these and learn from them. But I think it's really exciting to think through who would have created something like this and then who might decide to wear them. Maybe you've heard the phrase, um, imagine what it's like to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. So we might spend some time thinking about who might wear a pair of shoes like these. While these are kind of like wearable sculpture and are definitely much more um, creative looking than a lot of the shoes we might have in our own wardrobes, they actually were designed to be worn. You might think about people in your life and the shoes that they wear. How do they relate to the shoes that you have in your own wardrobe? Are they bright colored? Are they comfortable? Do they look uncomfortable? Would you wear them outside or would you just wear them inside? It's really interesting to think about how we each choose how to represent ourselves through the clothing that we wear. And really shoes can tell you a lot about a person. So maybe we can spend some time thinking about who would have worn something like this, where they would have worn them, um, how they would have stored them, you know, what, maybe what kind of space would they play in, um, who would their friends be? I think we can really um, understand a lot more about other people by thinking about things that are a little different from us and try to understand how that might work.